dear students today we are going to learn and understand problem set 21 of lesson number 5 fractions from fifth standard mathematics now subtraction of like fractions you all know what are like fraction right whose denominators are equal are called like fractions jense denominators he equal astat tanna like fraction ase mantat मग या फ्रैक्शन्स से सब्ट्रैक्शन कसे करना वेन सब्ट्रैक्टिंग अ फ्रैक्शन फ्रॉम अनादर लाइक फ्रैक्शन वी राइट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द न्यूमरेटर्स इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड द कॉमन डिनॉमिनेटर इन द डिनॉमिनेटर जेव एखाद फ्रैक्शन दुसर एखाद लाइक फ्रैक्शन मधुन सब्ट्रैक्ट कराएंते अपन का न्यूमरेटर्स मधी डिफरन्स हा न्यूमरेटर प्लेस पर राइट करते जो कॉमन डिनॉमिनेटर है तो ऐज इट इज डिनॉमिनेटर प्लेस पर राइट करते सो इधे कॉमन डिनॉमिनेटर है फाइव सो ऐज इट इज तो अपन डिनॉमिनेटर्स प्लेस पर राइट करू न्यूमरेटर्स है फोर एंड वन सो लेट सब्ट्रैक्ट वन फ्रॉम फोर so 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and denominator is 5 now let us solve problem set 21 question 1 subtract 1 5 upon 7 minus 1 upon 7 here common denominator is 7 so let us write 7 in the denominator's place and subtract numerators so 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 and denominator is 7 so here answer is 4 upon 7 second number 5 upon 8 minus 3 upon 8 common denominator is 8 so let's write 8 in the denominator's place and subtract numerators so 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 and 8 is the denominator so here our answer is 2 upon 8 next 7 upon 9 minus 2 upon 9 So here common denominator is nine. So let us write nine in the denominator's place and subtract numerators. So seven minus two is equal to yes five. Five upon nine. Five upon nine is the answer. Next is eight upon eleven minus five upon eleven. So here common denominator is yes. 11 so let's write 11 in the denominator's place and subtract numerators so 8 minus 5 is equal to yes 3 3 upon 11 is the correct answer next 9 upon 13 minus 4 upon 13 yes which is the common denominator very good 13 so let's write 13 in the denominator's place and subtract numerators so 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 and denominator is 13 so here 5 upon 13 is the answer 7 upon 10 minus 3 upon 10 common denominator is very good 10 so let's write 10 in the denominator's place and subtract numerators so 7 minus 3 is equal to Yes, four. So four upon ten. Ten is the denominator. Seven number nine upon twelve minus two upon twelve. Here common denominator is twelve and numerators are nine and two. So let's subtract two from nine. So nine minus two is equal to seven and denominator is twelve. So seven upon twelve is the answer. Next, ten upon fifteen minus three upon fifteen. Common denominator is fifteen. So let's subtract numerators. Ten minus three is equal to yes seven, and denominator is fifteen. So here seven upon fifteen is the answer. Next question two. Seven upon ten of a wall is to be painted. Ramu has painted four upon ten of it. How much more needs to be painted? One wall ahe ya wall sa seven upon ten itka portion paint karaycha ahe. Ramu ne four upon ten itka portion paint kerela ahe. Mag kiti portion paint karaycha rahi lela ahe? Asa question vicharela ahe. What is the given information in this word problem? 
portion of the wall which needs to be painted is 7 upon 10 and painted wall is 4 upon 10 what do we have to find out we have to find out remaining portion that still needs to be painted for that we will do subtraction so let us subtract 4 upon 10 from 7 upon 10 here the denominator is 10 so what we will do we will keep the denominator as it is and subtract the numerators right so 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 and denominator is 10 so here our answer is 3 upon 10 and our final answer is 3 upon 10 of a wall needs to be painted so that's all for today we will meet again in our next video till then keep learning keep enjoying bye bye